Hey guys, it's Burn Canole from Omniflex here, and today we're going to be talking about myofibrillar versus sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So, you've probably heard people talk about training for size versus muscle. I want to get big instead of being strong, or I want to get strong instead of being big. Now, personally, it's not something that I've ever thought about. I think I have definitely have a bias. I prefer training for strength, and then I know size will come. But I don't know how many people actually are aware of the mechanism behind how that actually works. So felt like making a video and talking about that. So the first thing is there's a reason why training for size and training for strength is structured the way it is and why it's talked about in the way it is. So you've probably heard people say, if you want to train for size, then you should do higher reps, lower weight. If you want to train for strength, then you do higher weights, lower reps, right? Well, why is that exactly? Well, if you go into the anatomy of a muscle cell, it's actually pretty clear. So without going super in depth, I'm just gonna make it like ABCs of muscle anatomy, all right? So there's the outer layer of the cell, right? And then there's the fluid, which is basically, think of it as like the container of the cell. So this is where all of the organs are kind of floating around. So you have like the mitochondria and like all the nucleus, all of that stuff, right? So this can actually grow. So that type of hypertrophy is called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So you're enlarging the sarcoplasm, which is the container of the cell. Then you have myofibrillar hypertrophy. So the myofibrils are the organs that are the contractile elements of the cell that fill up the sarcoplasm. So in the sarcoplasm, there's a bunch of myofibrils that are scattered amongst the cell and Basically what happens is these are responsible for the actual muscle contraction. So myofibrillar hypertrophy is both the enlargement of the myofibrils and the increase in the number of the myofibrils too. One feeds into the other. So when you have your myofibrils, you need more space to create more myofibrils, right? Because there's a certain amount of space that's determined by the sarcoplasm, right? Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is actually necessary for more myofibrillar hypertrophy because there's only so much space in the sarcoplasm for the myofibrils to be, right? You're increasing the size and the number of the myofibrils. If you have a bigger muscle, a bigger muscle has more strength potential. I think that's a good way of thinking about it. So if you do no sarcoplasmic hypertrophy training or high rep, low weight training, you're actually missing out on some strength gains. And the same goes the other way. What happens when the myofibril is actually running out of space? The sarcoplasm has to expand that can actually cause the sarcoplasm to expand even with strength training. One will necessarily feed into the other. And if you're not doing both types of training, you're actually losing out on both types of performance, whether you just want to be really big or you just want to be really strong. So really when people are talking about training for size versus training for strength, there is a difference, but the difference isn't in doing one or the other, but it's actually just an emphasis in one versus the other. This is a really common misunderstanding that I hear. Training for size or strength, you should really be saying training for size more than strength or training for strength more than size. Now, this might seem kind of pedantic, but I think it's actually a crucial distinction. I think people don't realize that if you're a bodybuilder that doesn't do any heavy weights, you are missing out on some muscle growth. If you're a power lifter that doesn't do any high rep work, you're limiting yourself. You're not as strong as you could be if you had bigger muscles. This is something that I wanted to talk about. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys want me to go into more detail or you guys want me to do more videos like this. I really like educating people about certain concepts that are really commonly talked about, but there's a lot of misunderstanding about this one. Let me know what you guys think of this. Thanks for watching.